Yeah, I'm here at uh, Bonneville for Speed Week 2018 with a couple guys that have, a uh, few guys that have been here around a long time. That's a very kind way of not saying you're old. As my grandma said, uh, I'm not old, I've just been here a long time. Uh, but uh, I'm here with uh, Dave McDonald on my left, uh, Bob Truluck in the middle, and I got Jack Bank on the right. Gentlemen, um, I don't know about you, but I'm having a blast here. What, uh, what, what, what is it about this place, uh, the Salt Fever, the Bonneville? I mean, it's the cars, the, the place, the people, crews. What, what the heck? Is, what's, what's the passion driving you guys and everyone else to come here for the people that don't know? Well, Jack, I think you are the longest survivor here, so I think you should start the conversation going. Well, my first uh, no trip pressure. up here was 1955. I have not made every year since, but I've made a lot of them. Uh, why I keep coming back to this, such a hostile environment <laughs> is probably the people, the cars, and the camaraderie. Are the people because of that hostile environment? Or the, <laughs> oh, it's the, <laughs> okay. the uh, physical environment. So we'd clarify that. Very corrosive to uh, race cars. I, I followed Jack out here as after a long discussion in a drive-in restaurant about going to Bonneville in 1960. And so the way I left, what came up in 1960, and I never went back to the drags again. I just uh, fell in love with a five-mile drag strip up here. And Bob is one of my oldest crew members other than Jack. <laughs> Old? I'm not old, only 70. Uh, I came up here in 1987, been a drag racer all my life, and just stopped that about 15 years ago. And I'll be coming here as long as I'm healthy and able to be here with my friends and companions. What I like about the salt is some of the engineering that people go through. from bikes that do 50 miles an hour that hold the world record to streamliners that are over 500 miles 468 miles I think is correct where the record is uh, today today and it could change tomorrow as actually it did this weekend uh, it was held 12 hours 24 hours and then changed by Danny we go there's no money in coming up here to race, so if you're looking for money, stay home. <laughs> uh, we all come up here, we're racers, we're friends, uh, we loan each other our parts. Uh, it's a family environment, and the families, we're probably on our third generation or fourth generation of record holders up here. Uh, once you come up here, I think you'll think twice about ever doing any other kind of racing, but uh, that's my own thought. Environment is good sometimes, and it can be nasty on other times. The uh, you mentioned there's no money, there's no no reward money. The money is outgoing. You spend a lot of money to come up here and go fast. But uh, you know, I wouldn't do it other way. You can do the same thing in a drag strip, but uh, it's probably a shorter period of time, so maybe it doesn't hurt as long. When I come up here for a week and race and, uh, with brake parts, and we learn from breaking parts, and that's the only way we can go faster and faster and faster, is by breaking parts. And, and it's not very restful up here. These guys <laughs> get me up at 6 a.m. every morning. They want me on the salt, and they don't feed me till 9. <laughs> that's unless we uh, qualify for a record. And that's a hostile environment four. I was yes. hearing about, yeah? yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I, as the new timer here, I've only been coming here about 10 years, and uh, I'm Mike, I'm hiding off on the side here. I, I will say, it, I find it refreshing when I come here. You know, this isn't the drag racing pro series, the roundy round cars or whatever. You, you come here and you go to different pits, and every one of them is different, a different story from all different planet, you know, parts of the earth, and uh, it's just refreshing when I get home. I am so tired, I'm so worn out, but yet I'm so refreshed. Want to start new projects and new stuff and just to come here, I just recommend it. Put it on your bucket list if you've never been here to Bonneville, especially Speed Week. If you're a motorhead guy, it's, it's a must-see and you will see things completely different. Uh, just come back refreshed. If, if you're here racing, 
you're here for the love of it. And that's what has really kept it pure. There's no whiners, there's no snivelers, there's no excuses. You come here and it's you against the clock and you can do everything right and still get your butt handed to you. And I've, I've, I've seen different people come here to try and throw money at stuff and Kevlar and titanium and can't get out of their own way. And I've seen some hillbillies come here with butts, buckskin two by fours and duct tape and and do quite well you know you don't know it's, uh, you don't know and uh, they come from all over the world to find out how much they know and don't know it is not an easy process it takes a lot of time a lifetime a lifetime <laughs> well, i know that mcdonald's well, I, not well, I, driving as much as he used to but he still wants that record if somebody beats it by maybe jeff mcdonald's getting back be in careful. the car be careful <laughs> it, it took me 11 years before i got a record uh and dave you got a good story about that i had, I had Please. 28 28 years uh racing up here before i got in the 200 mile an hour club and then i think it was another what 17 or 20 to get into the three club and so that was uh a long, long, it's a lifetime career. I've been married up here to Bonneville longer than I've been married to my wife. Outstanding. Gentlemen, uh, Dave, Bob, Jack, it's a pleasure always hanging out with you guys and uh, spending your money, eating your food, drinking your beer. I uh, hope I can you. do it. <laughs> hope you. I can do it, do it a bit longer. And uh, let's keep this going as long as we can. And uh, salt fever. <laughs>